Hey YouTube, what's up? So this is very exciting because it's the first time that you guys ever see me. How, how, how amazing. Now, although I know some of my subs actually know me in person, um, I know a lot of you guys don't um, and you guys just know me from a picture or if you follow me on Twitter, etc. So that is why I decided to finally make a video with my face. Now my face is not going to be the entire video because that's kind of like blah but I did want to do an introduction with my face awesome how exciting <laughs> all right anyways guys so here I'm going to introduce to you guys um 20 um hidden I guess we're going to call them hidden futures of iOS 9 it's not Joe bro not Joe broken um so if you guys are looking for Joe breaks tweaks and stuff this is not going to be one of those videos for this week and that's just because I am not Joe broken anymore now calm down guys I will um, be Joe Rogan once Apple signs um, the whole process, whatever they do. Um, so once iOS 9 jailbreak is confirmed, I will go back to doing the tweak. So if I am doing like off topic stuff, that's because I'm not Joe Rogan. But it will stay within the area of Apple. Anyways, um, I also wanted to ask you guys... Um, if you guys would like me to do a jailbreak tutorial, I do have a 8 point something. I don't even know anymore. Wow. I have an iOS 8 um, jailbreak. I don't know what if it's 8.4 or whatever. I think it's like 8 point. Yeah. I see my mind is like. Psh. Anyways. So um, when I had first made that jailbreak, jailbreak video uh, tutorial, I was new. To, I was still kind of new. I was still. Uh, I still am new. But um. I had a lot of problems with the audio and uh, just kind of like making it a broad tutorial. I made it, it was a really long video. See, as you see now, I'm just blabbing away. It's what I do. But um, I know this time around, I have much more experience. I'm still not great, but I have improved. So I think that is good enough. Um, so if you guys want a tutorial for that, for iOS 9 jailbreak, please, please let me know because I don't want to make the tutorial and then have like what not a lot of people get used out of it um so i'm making these videos for you guys i also make it for my entertainment but i want you know all you guys to be excited as much as i am so maybe i'm just i get excited over everything but if you guys do want a tutorial please let me know down below um so yeah <laughs> all right So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in now that I blabbed away in my face intro. So we do have 20 futures here to kill. So I'm going to jump right in with number one on our list, low power mode. So if I go into settings here, we do see that we have here now a battery uh, tr in choice. And just wait for that to load. Um, now I can physically show you here because I am on an iPod and unfortunately, iOS 9 did not include this for the iPods, um, it's definitely on the iPhones, but you do have, it should be up here, so if you're on iPhone, you should see it where it says low power mode, and basically what that does is it saves your battery life, so your battery will change to yellow, um, and that will obviously mean that you're on low power mode, and that is actually supposed to make your battery last 4 hours more, so if that actually works, please let me know guys. I would love to hear about that. Alright, so our next one is called iCloud Drive app. So we go into iCloud here in settings and we click on iCloud Drive. We're going to see that we have here show on home screen. This is actually a hidden app. A lot of people don't know about it. So for you guys, it's um, not enabled. So go ahead and enable it. So if I go to my home screen here, I have it over here. I have the iCloud Drive. So that is a hidden app. Now if I go ahead and click on it real fast, you just have all your attachments and stuff. I have nothing here because I don't really use the drive, but I am actually taking it into consideration. Alright, so our next one is 
we have search settings now which is actually one of my favorites because it makes things so much easier so as you see here now we can search whatever we need so if I want to search for example passcode um, change passcode it's going to directly uh, take me here that's really easy it makes it easier you can search whatever you want so that I definitely enjoy all right so our very next one is called new shift key now this one when you start something you now can choose uh, for example we want to uh, capitalize your letters or not so if I go back so I can show you guys what I mean by that is when you open up something it's not it's not automatically gonna go capital letters um, which is actually really cool because sometimes I don't even like to capitalize my letters um, for example on a tweet or something I, I kind of just want to like hi lowercase I don't know that's just something I like um, so that's one of them. All right, so our next one, we have several hidden features in our Photos app, which is really cool. I know there's one I won't be showing you guys uh, for the simple reason that it is not included for the iPods. But I will be showing you guys most of them, I believe. So if I am on a picture, I really took this today, guys, because I got this new crystal. So I was pretty excited about that. Anyway, so now you can swipe down on your photos to go back. So I clicked on this picture, if I want to go back, swipe down, and I can go to all your other pictures. So here I click on this GIF, which is actually a really funny GIF, um, and then you scroll down. So that's pretty cool. We can also now select multiple uh, photos. So if I want to delete all this, you just delete. You can uh, choose how much pictures, you don't have a limit, so that is actually really awesome which is actually even more awesome than this <laughs> you're probably thinking what would be better than this well there is um now you can mail more than five photos at a time which is also really great so if you click select and you want to send all these to your friend for example so that's my quiz that i took um and you're going to go ahead and click here you now have the option so for example if you want to do it in mail um, even your messages, you can now, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can do that before actually, but um, I don't have mail on here for some reason, but you just make sure you enable it. But you can now send more than five photos at a time, which is awesome. You can also add attachments to emails. So if I go ahead and click an email and I want to go ahead and click my wiggle hands in the way. This is the reason why I don't make videos like this because I don't like my hand being in the way. But I did get a uh, suggestion. Someone wanted me to do it like this. So I hope you're happy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I'm, I'm happy to do it like this actually. Um, I guess it helps a lot of you out there. So what was I saying? Um, you can add attachments to emails from iCloud. So that is really cool. So if I hold down right here, you go ahead and click the next and the next. You now have here where you click add attachment and it'll take you to the iCloud drive. Like I told you guys before, I don't use the iCloud drive, so I really can't. But if you do, that is definitely something that you will be really convenient to you guys. All right, so now we can also hide our photos easily. So if you don't want some pictures to be shown, um, cancel. So for example, if I click on this picture and I don't want it to be shown or, yeah, um, no, I forgot how you do this. Bad memory, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, 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 oh yeah, right here. I forgot. Um, so if you don't want that, all these pictures to be shown, for example, uh, you can click multiple. You just click hide right here, and it'll ask you if you want to hide them. Um, so I mean, that's something that could be convenient to you guys as well. I don't want to hide them. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> so yeah, anyways. So now we also have a back to app. That is what I like to call it. So for example, um, if I am on like news or something, but and then let's say I get a notification and I click on the notification um, and I go to it on your left up right here. I mean, I'm sorry, on your left corner up here, it'll say back to Twitter. So if I was on Twitter, I got a notification and I clicked on it at the very top, it'll say, back to whatever app you were 
before. So that is also really cool. Um, I wish I could personally show you guys how that looks. Um, and I really can't because on the iPods, we do not get the news feed here when I scroll. So we don't have that. We just have the scroll down. So it's pretty lame. So, but it's called back to app. So if you guys, I'm hoping I get a notification while I'm doing this video so that I can show you guys. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and move on. We now have a redesigned app switcher. So when we double click, we have a whole new redesign here on our springboard. Before it was on the right and it just looked different. So now we can get rid of our apps like this. I actually like how it looks. To me, it looks better. What most of you probably don't know, and this is why it's a hidden feature, that you can do it with two fingers. So my big old two fingers. And you can do it at two at a time. So that is something you couldn't do before. So that was pretty easy. I actually liked it. All right, so cool. Now we also have a redesigned Siri. Oh, I'm supposed to hold down, right? So now we have a redesigned Siri. So now you see the colors here. Um, that's also really awesome. I like it. Um, sorry, Siri. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> I'm not actually talking to you, Siri. But now, as you guys saw here, we have a whole new um, cool colors thing going on. Also, if you scroll down here, you now have a Siri here next to the search button. And that also makes things easier. So if you don't want to uh, press your home button here, you go ahead and do that just by going down into the search. So pretty convenient as well. All right, guys, moving on. We now have the choice of we can make a six digit passcode. Um, I personally wouldn't, but um, for those of you who do, so if I want to change my passcode, um, Oh, enter my old password. I was like, why isn't the little thing showing up? The passcode options. So I change, I want to change my passcode. And now we have here where it says passcode options. So it gives you if you want to get, uh, get a six digit code. So for those of you who want a longer passcode, that shall help you guys a lot. So pretty awesome. All right, so now we can also group our notifications by the app. So we go into settings, notifications. Now you can choose if you want how you want to group uh, your notifications. So if, if usually uh, you would get notification uh, from the most recent. So now you can get it by app. So if you you have your whole list of Twitter here, your whole list of Instagram here, and etc. So that is pretty cool. I actually like that they did that um, because I actually had a tweak that would do that. So now I don't have to do that tweak. So awesome, catching on, right? All right, so this one, um, if I go back to passcode, um, I don't want to change my passcode, but okay. So before, um, for iPhone users, you guys did not have the choice of a 30-second 30, 30 auto lock, um, and now you guys do. For pass, uh, sorry, for iPods, for iPods, you guys, uh, we had a meeting, which is pretty. That's like faster than their seconds. Um, but now you guys have 30 second auto lock. So pretty cool, right? All right, so if we go into general, our next one, accessibility, um, and we go down, we have here a touch of accommodations. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, and now we have here um, new features that you guys may like. Uh, I don't have any of these enabled, but we do have the if and repeat. So it says a duration in which multiple touches are treated as a single touch. We have full duration and appear touch accommodations. So if you guys want to do that, um, basically, so the whole duration, um, you must touch the screen before a touch is recognized. Um, and here, if you want to adjust your, I believe, it says that you have trouble using the touch screen. You want to adjust it, I guess. So I haven't really looked into that. Um, we, we also have here on tap assistance, use initial touch location or use final touch location. So that's all for you guys to kind of figure out. I'm not really gonna mess with that because I don't really care. But that is also something that is new. All right, so now if we go into our email again, we can now mark up attachments, which is pretty awesome. All right, uh, open, all right. So if I'm gonna go ahead and add an attachment, uh, let me use my other hand because it's been a little hard for me. I had attachment. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to add a picture. <laughs> so insert photo. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my crystal picture because I really like my crystal. So now when you, you wanna send this uh, attachment, correct? So you're gonna go ahead and press on the picture and you are gonna go click this next. And you're gonna have a new here, I guess icon you can call, that's called markup. And now you can edit your pictures however you like. So now you can color it on your picture. So if you wanna, look, I'm showing you I got a new crystal, which is pretty cool. And then you draw a little arrow, you press done, and you can send it. Now you have not only sent an attachment, but you have edited your photo, which is pretty cool. I like that. I really like that they do that. It makes things so much easier and pretty fun, actually. Um, so yeah. All right. So now we go back to our battery life. Go back. Um, battery. Alright, so here it has battery usage details. Now we know what's taking up our battery. Um, it also shows you from the last 5 days and the last 24 hours. So as you see, Twitter obviously takes up my battery. That's what I use the most. <laughs> so, and it shows you all of it here. I believe for iPhones, uh, you guys have more, um, what's it called, more features that the iPod did not come with. So I can't really uh, explain them because I don't have an iPhone to show you guys. All I did show you guys some before, that's just because they were easy to explain. Um, but yeah, so now we know our battery usage um, and details and stuff. So if I click on this little clock here, um, it's showing you even more information. So that's pretty cool as well. Right, so now I want to show you guys something that I, you guys might have not realized. And you guys might have uh, thought we got a new uh, app here. But this was actually called Passcode before iOS 9. So in iOS 8, this was called passcode and which is now it's now called wallet. So I mean I don't know why you would put your card on here. I mean I just have my Starbucks card so they're on zero balance anyways. Um so that is now have been renamed. Right so our final 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 future guys thank you for hanging on in this super long video. <laughs> um alright so this I already had said in the past but I'm just gonna say it again. We now have one more hour battery life, so that is pretty cool. So if your device died pretty fast, well, now you have an extra hour. All right, guys, so I'm going to wrap this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe. Please follow on Twitter, at Jenny Benani. Um, what else, what else? Like this video.